Where was your first kiss? <laughs> her, her name was Lisa. It was in her garage. It was fourth grade. She was uh, one street over. I ran home afterwards. Well, I was pretty excited, titillated as fourth graders get. <laughs> It was kind of planned, it was kind of set up, okay, we're gonna meet here and we're gonna do this. The anticipation was uh, a bit nerve wracking. Got there, did the deal, and, and uh, um, somehow I just remember running home. It was just too much. I always had crushes. I had crushes, kindergarten, first grade, second grade. I had crushes, I always had crushes. Because you're passionate. Because I'm addicted. <laughs>I went to two proms. Two proms. Because I was dating a beautiful young woman from the neighboring high school. So we had to hit one and then hit the other. Blue tux? White. White tux. With tails. <laughs> I realized that that was kind of my, my training, like mm -hmm. dance, the 80s dance. Uh-huh. Or the... <laughs> and, and it never really evolved from there. And then I had a 20 year hiatus where I didn't dance at all. And now I kind of see dance as my future. So I'm trying to catch up. I'll be throwing you, shit I, out I, of joint and dislocating things. And, but yeah, I don't know. I see more dance in my future. The first TV thing was either Dallas or 30 something where I had one line which was yes or it was no. But that was enough, you know, because you had to get your SAG card. I was an extra for a year and a half, and the big talk was how to get a SAG card. You had, to, you had to have your SAG card to get a speaking part, but to get a SAG card, you would had to had a speaking part. So it was this Catch-22. So I, I was an extra. I was extra in a Charlie Sheen film. It was night shoots. I was, by the way, thrilled to be on sets. And they grabbed me to be like the waiter, it was a big dinner scene at a, at a restaurant. And they had me pour the champagne in the glasses. And I thought, I'm gonna try to get a line in. And so I poured one, you know, I poured like, maybe, maybe it was Charlie's, I don't know, and then another actor's, and then I got to this actress at the end and I poured her drink. And then I looked at her and I said, would you like anything else? She looked at me and went, <sighs> I had the first AD goes, cut, 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 cut. <laughs> And he came over to me and said, you do that again, you're off to set. And I was like, oh, man, oh, man. So somehow I eventually got it. I'm not sure how. I'm not, I don't remember how I got the card. What was the first album you ever bought? It was definitely Elton John. And I think my earliest memory is Captain Fantastic. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite album. Um, but it could have been something like Mad Men Across the Water or something like that. Also, Three Dog Night was somewhere in there. Fleetwood Mac. Did you ever have the rock star fantasy? Oh, sure, but I couldn't sing for, you know, shit. And I couldn't play anything, so I had to go to the next best thing. <laughs> when was the first time you read Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Ooh, man, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, because you know, you go, you get summoned by the wild and wonderful QT. We go over to his house, because the last script got leaked, so he wasn't having any of that. And the first time I got there, we hung for a bit and, um, and sit out on the back porch. It was pretty crisp, pretty clean, script, one script, and read it and uh, was um, quite taken with it. I got called back maybe, I don't know, several weeks later, and that same script was there, uh -huh. but it was all dog-eared and stained <laughs> and coffee-stained and boogered and spaghetti sauce. and. So it, many people had gone through it. Cliff Booth is, uh, was the name of the, the stuntman. And just where I am in my life, I, I, I was just really drawn to him. I love what Quentin had written. It was a guy who was pretty at peace with his place in life, knew what he was dedicated to, what he was not dedicated to, looked for best in, you know, looked for the best in people, but was not surprised to get the worst in people. I, I could relate to that. And he gets to drive through L.A. in a really cool car. Well, you know that comes with a Tarantino movie. Yes. You're going to get a cool car. Yes. You're not going to get some shitbox. So we're going to do your porno name. What was your first dog's name? Quiche Lorraine, off the B-52 song. And what was the first street you lived on? Well, the, one, the first one I remember is Primrose. How about Quiche Primrose? Quiche Primrose. Okay. That's a good name. All right. <laughs> 
Let's see. <laughs> what would be my special talents? Is quiche primrose. Uh, For another episode. 